Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it. So let's go into the video. So the days are pretty much numbers, numbers, <laughs> numbered um, when, you know, DIY or the fact that we can, you know, do car maintenance in ourselves. You know, those days are becoming coming to an end pretty soon, especially that these moves um that ram has decided to go towards first of all the new trucks they don't have no dipstick and no transmission dipstick as well so you can't even check the levels of transmission oil that's in your truck and you can't check the levels of <laughs> of how much oil is in the vehicle because there is no more dipsticks so that's one right and then Ram drops another one where like mechanics or at least um, certified me mechanics, they have access to tools. They have, you know, um, diagnostic, you know, things that we don't have access to. Um, they have to get it from the manufacturer. Like they have um, the uh, systems like all data, all, all data, I think, or something like that, um, where they can um, put in their credentials or sign up for the for for a certain amount of fees and they get access to pretty much everything on the vehicle but now those days are pretty much gone all right so tiktok a user shorty of shorty's speed shop garnered over 301 views when he showed viewers what mechanics had to do to be able to repair new car vehicles or new car models it has officially happened 2024 ram 3500 authorization denied shorty said as he showed viewers the computer screen cannot get any into anything this except generic obd software shorty went on to explain that this update made his manufacturer software 100 percent irrelevant then shorty uh, showed viewers the vehicle security professional VSP registry on the National Auto Maker Service Task Force NS NASTF website. According to NASTF, automaker require mechanics to become credentialed VSP if they want to purchase key and immobilizer codes, PIN numbers, special tools, access from auto makers website a vsp is required to verify proof of ownership authority prior to performing any security operations it's also part of nastf security professionals registry um, shorty believes that this rule allows manufacturer to lock mechanics out of anything they deem security sensitive Shorty then broke down the requirements to gain VSP access. According to him, these include a $325 fee every two years and $100 fee for every subsequent two-year licensing renewal. He says mechanic also need commercial liability insurance of $1 million and a fidelity or employee dishonesty bond of 100000 So these are just the requirements that you need in order for you to get that. Um, the VSP application page on NASTF website confirms that there is $100 application fee that covers a two-year renewal and a $325 primary account fee that covers a two-year license. It also confirms that claims about the required commercial liability insurance and fidelity or employee dishonesty bond. There's a lot of people that don't know that this is going on and it's going to affect everybody getting their cars fixed. Because they want you to take it to the dealerships. This is this is just a shakedown. Um, we've all known that car manufacturers have consistently tried to <laughs> force consumers to go towards the dealerships in order to get your vehicle fixed because they're the only one that's going to have the access. So they're slowly trying to get rid of independent mechanic shops that's not trying to rob you and actually treat you fair when it comes to car repair. You know, this is exact, and just like for the DIY people, like have no access to all these data. It doesn't matter how good your scan tool is, if certain areas of the vehicle is locked, you're not gonna be able to have access to it. Or maybe there's a jailbreak somewhere. Anything with the software can be jailbroken. Text locked out. It's crazy. Ever since vehicles became closer to computer than cars of year, right to repair 
advocate a group insisting that manufacturers make parts. Diagnostic tools and diagrams available for third-party mechanics have adv advocated for the right of small shops and owners to repair vehicles. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, 33 states in Puerto Rico consider right to repair legislations in 2023. As of 2024, the Public Interest Research Group reports that 33 states have some sort, some form of uh, right to repair. Even though like this law passed in some states, um, car manufacturers are still reluctant to open it up. I mean, how many times have we seen Apple lock up their phones or they make it so intricate that you have to buy these special tools or get these special tools in order to replace the glass on the back of your iPhone 15 or any of those products? Like these companies don't want you to repair any of your products when it fails. They want you to send it back so they can charge you an absorbent amount of fee in order for them to fix it which is ridiculous. I miss the days where phones had actual battery, where if your battery was malfunctioning, where you can just pop the back out and put a new battery in and you're good to go. Those days are long dead and buried. Wow, you need a license to access diagnostics? That's insane, a third agreed. Shop rates are gonna continue going higher and higher and these additional costs just get passed down like everything else, facts. Others claim that these new systems will drive consumers to purchase older vehicles. 100% agreed. All we got to do is stop buying those cars for a short time. We can live an older car for a little while. Yeah, we'll be buying older cars. <laughs> those were more fun anyways. A second agreement. I want shopping for a new truck. They sold me on just rebuilding my 60-year-old one. Another one shared. 100% because... If you are locking into these systems, they have, they have these computer systems that track you and report to your insurance and causes your insurance rates to go higher, which is just crazy. You know what I mean? We don't need it. Just buy old shit that still <laughs> works and you can just fix it up and you have access to pretty much all the information. You don't need any special um, you know, like passwords or PIN in order to access the vehicle you know what i mean another news <laughs> uh we're doing a two a two piece ram tops jd power quality survey <laughs> but dodge drops from first to last maybe dodge stopped paying jd powers we all know that jd powers is just a fucking marketing company that you just pay and you can be up there in the top uh first place which is insane look at that Look, 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 look. Brand rankings. You have Ram up top, Chevy, Hyundai, Kia, Buick, Nissan, Porsche, Lexus, Ford, Honda, Mini, Subaru. Look at this is insane. Mazda? Are you kidding me? Mazda? Wow. Wow. That is ludicrous <sighs> sheesh that's insane man that's wow all right am i reading the list right most content though even they logged 149 um problems per vehicle i understand that you know Japanese vehicles haven't been the most reliable. I know Toyota has its blenders as well as Honda. But still, I would never take any of these vehicles on this list um, <laughs> over Honda or freaking um, Toyota, Lexus, Acura. I would never. None. No thank you. No thank you. But you may disagree with me. Um, it is what it is. We all have our own opinions and everything like that uh highest initial quality model lexus lc small premium car highest rated is bmw 2 series highest ranked is the toyota camry for mid-size highest uh, premium sport sporty car lexus lc highest um what is it premium car genesis g80 and lexus is is compact premium okay it's not terrible. Highest small SUV, Ford Bronco Sport, um, mid-size premium, K 
Cadillac over a Lexus RX. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is, like I said, man, I never take anything that the JD Powers um, give, any of their fucking awards, none of that shit. I never take any of that shit serious. Um, it's just a bunch of fucking marketing company, like I said before. So you can't really trust their opinion when it comes to um, just quality product or just ranking vehicles from which one is the best. It's all just fucking money was involved. A lot of, you know, backhand deals were done in the dark room. <laughs> or maybe it was, it was done in a well-lit room and they think that we're stupid or something. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe.